Hello Royal fans, it's great to see you all back here for another dose of Royal news and analysis. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for updates. So, let's get right to the point King Charles has finally made a bold move, one that's long overdue. The rumors are true, he has stripped his younger son of all his remaining titles. Yes, you heard that right. After all the drama and disrespect, this decision marks a turning point in how the monarchy will handle disloyalty. And honestly, can you blame him? From the moment Meghan Markle entered the royal fold, we all saw the storm clouds forming. The wedding was just the start, with her insistence on rewriting centuries of tradition to suit her whims. Then came the complaints the palace wasn't enough, the royal duties too hard, the lifestyle too restrictive. For most of us, living in a palace is a dream, but apparently not for her. And let's not forget the audacious demand for a princess title after everything she's done to undermine the royal family. The entitlement is unbelievable. It's truly heartbreaking to see what has become of Harry. Once the cheeky, fun-loving prince who served his country and stood beside his brother, now he's a shadow of his former self. Harry used to be the people's prince, but now it's clear he's lost his way, bowing to every command of his wife. And speaking of his brother, Prince William what a shining example of royal duty and grace. William, despite all the noise, continues to carry himself with dignity, supporting his family through tough times and never wavering in his responsibilities. The contrast between Meghan and Catherine couldn't be more striking. Catherine, recovering from surgery, has shown more grace in silence than Meghan has in years of media appearances. That's the mark of a true princess, quiet strength, not constant media grandstanding. King Charles's decision to strip Harry's titles must have been painful after all, this is his son. But sometimes tough love is necessary. When someone continues to undermine the institution they were born into, what choice is left? Remember when some people thought Meghan would modernize the monarchy? Well, modernizing doesn't mean turning the royal family into a reality TV spectacle. It means evolving with respect, grace, and a sense of duty just like Catherine has done. The way Harry continues to seek the spotlight with every tell-all interview or book is downright embarrassing. A man who once fought in Afghanistan can't even stand up for himself now it's clear who's pulling the strings. What's really frustrating is how Harry and Meghan want all the perks of royal life without any of the responsibility. They trash the family in public, yet still expect royal privileges and a warm welcome back. Every time a major royal event happens, they try to grab headlines with some big reveal. It's so transparent and calculated that it's almost laughable. But what's not laughable is the damage they've done to the institution and their relationships with the family. The monarchy has survived for over a thousand years, through wars, revolutions, and scandals. It's built on service, duty, and tradition values that some people, and we all know who, simply can't grasp. Queen Camilla is a perfect example of someone who gets it. She faced years of criticism but never complained. She earned her place with quiet dedication, unlike those who run to the media at the first sign of difficulty. Let's address the ongoing victim narrative from Harry and Meghan. Living in a palace, with all the wealth and privilege in the world, is hardly a struggle. Yet they continue to paint themselves as victims, while many people around the world face real challenges. The constant whining is hard to stomach, especially when compared to how other royals, like the late Prince Philip, lived a life of quiet duty without seeking applause. Look at how William and Catherine interact with the public they are genuine, kind, and interested in the people they meet. They don't need Netflix deals or podcasts to have an impact. Being royal isn't about celebrity, it's about service, and that's a concept Harry and Meghan just don't understand. Sadly, Harry's children, Archie and Lilibet, are being raised far from their heritage and the family that could offer them so much, all because their parents can't handle not being in the limelight. In the end, King Charles's decision to strip Harry's titles isn't just about punishment. 
it's about protecting an institution that has been the backbone of Britain for centuries. The monarchy must stand strong, and Charles knows that this is a necessary step to preserve its future. William and Catherine are the future, and they are showing us exactly what modern royalty should look like dignified, dedicated, and in touch with the people, all while upholding tradition. To my loyal viewers, thank you for sticking with me through this journey. Together, we're witnessing history in the making. Keep supporting the real royals William, Catherine, King Charles, and Queen Camilla. They are the ones carrying the real burden, showing what true royalty looks like. As for Harry and Meghan, maybe losing their titles will finally give them the freedom they claim to want. But somehow, I doubt it. Until next time, stay true to the real royals, and remember actions speak louder than words. Sending you all my love.